Hi class, today we're back with Go Math Chapter 4. We're on lesson 4.3 on page 223. So today we're going to do page 223, 224, 225, and then I want you to do the mid-chapter checkpoint, page 226. So we'll do a few problems together and then I'll let you finish the rest on your own. So today we're still using um, addition to help us subtract. We're going to use green cubes and blue cubes. So I have a blue marker and a green marker to help me out here. Maria has seven crayons. She gets three more. How many crayons does she have? So she gets seven crayons. So that means we're going to draw seven cubes with our green marker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So she gets seven crayons. Then it said she gets more crayons. So if she's getting more, we're adding. So I'm going to put a plus sign. So it says she gets three more. So I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to draw three more cubes. One, two, three. So we're doing seven plus three. So we have seven green and then eight, nine, ten cubes all together. So she has ten crayons all together. All right, let's see. Maria has ten crayons. She gives three of them to her friends. How many crayons are there now? So now she starts with all ten crayons. So we already drew ten cubes up here. She's giving crayons away, so that means she's going to end up with a smaller number, so that's subtraction. It said she gave three away, so let's circle these three blue crayons and cross them out. And how many are left? So 10 take away three equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 10 take away three equals seven. So let's take a look at these equations. We have seven plus three equals 10, and we have 10 take away three equals seven. What do you notice about them? What's the same? What's different? I immediately notice that the numbers are the same in both equations. This one has a seven, and the one on the bottom has a seven. They both have threes, and they both have tens. If they have the same numbers, that means that they're in the same family. They're a fact family. So if we know the addition problem, that means the addition problem can help us figure out the answer to the subtraction problem. Let's look at some more problems like this that are related. We'll go ahead and turn the page to page 224. It's just the next page. An addition fact can help you subtract. What is eight take away six? So think about it. If you have six, how many more do you need to get eight? So watch, we can draw counters, we can draw cubes. I'll draw cubes today. So six cubes, one, two, three, four, five, six. We just need to draw some more until we have eight. Seven, eight. And how many more cubes did I need to draw? Just two. So six plus two equals eight. All right, so that means, oh, hold on a second. I just noticed that the problem on the top has an eight and the problem on the bottom has an eight. The problem on the top has a six and the problem on the bottom has a six. That means that these facts are related. If two of the numbers are the same, then the facts should, should be related. So this one has a two so what's missing here? It's missing a two. We have eight cubes. Take away six, and that equals two. So eight take away six equals two. If you see the pattern, that will definitely help you out as we're doing these problems. Number one, what is nine take away six? Use six plus blank equals nine. So we'll start with six cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
grab another color. We'll draw some more until we have nine. So what comes after six? Seven, eight, nine. Let's count how many cubes I had to draw. One, two, three. So six plus three equals nine. So that means that nine, take away these six, equals three. The facts are related. They both have nines, they both have sixes, and they both have threes. They're a related fact. Okay, I'll do one more with you. What is 11 take away five? Use blank plus blank equals 11. Ooh, they're making it a little harder for us. They didn't give us one of the numbers this time. But you know what? All I have to do is look up at the top and what's my first number going to be? We already have an 11, so it's going to be five. So five plus blank equals 11. So let's draw five cubes. One, two, three, four, five, all the way to 11. I grabbed another color. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I was running out of room for that one. Okay, let's count how many orange cubes I had to draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. So five blue plus six orange is equal to 11. So that means 11 take away five equals six. All right, so I wanna help you out a little bit for these two on the bottom. Um, I'm just gonna give you a hint here. This first number is eight. And let's see. The first number here is going to be four. So if you wanna fill those in, the first number is eight on number three, and the first number is four on number four. And then you go ahead and do three and four, page 225 and page 226 on your own. Then take a picture and upload them to the blank slideshow. Okay, bye.